SRS here. All right, guys, welcome to Tri State Fitness again, where we are here at Fit Factory with the one and only Libby Diaz. Hey. And we're going to be talking to her a little bit about everything, kind of how she got started, and then maybe some cool, kind of uh, cool questions that uh, Shane came up with, too. But uh, first off, uh, thanks for coming on yeah. with us. She's on like the first like official episode where we're going to be interviewing. You're the one. You're the thanks, one. Guys. You're yeah. the first. I'm excited. So, yeah, we're excited to have you. So, um, first off, we just kind of um, want to get to know you a little bit. And so, how did you get into like the kind of fitness world? The fitness world. Well, um, coming from an athletic background, playing soccer all my life, um, and then getting to the point where you're in your mid 20s and you don't know what you want to do when you grow up. Did you play a game? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I did. Yeah, so you've lived it. Yeah, it was fun. Um, kind of a love hate relationship with soccer. Yeah. We'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I knew I kind of wanted to help people. I liked working out. I liked the um, mechanics, like the body mechanics, mm -hmm. sport mechanics, and speed. So, um, and then I also liked helping people. So, all of a sudden, I just started training with one friend outside of the park, and one friend grew to two friends, and so on and so forth. Yeah, because cool. we, you've been here. Uh, I say we because we actually all coach at Fit Factory. <laughs> yeah. So this is like well, the Fit Factory. Yeah. This is all the coaches group. Right, if, yeah. if you don't know, that's what it is. But you've been here. Yeah. Two years? Yep, in this building, two years. In this building, two years. So I started about four and a half years ago outside of the park. Wow, and so that's crazy. So it was outside of the park, then in the winter I had like a very small corner in a gymnastics studio, went back outside of the park, weaseled my way into a short-term lease somewhere, and then here we are at this really cool place. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so cool. it's been neat. Yeah. A slow growth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's you, awesome. You would say slow. Four years ago, you were in a park with one person. Yeah. I would say, I would, I would say that's <laughs> explosive. That's, you probably feel slow because you've gone through so much, like business-wise and a lot of work it took to totally. get here, but that's still pretty fast. That's impressive for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Really cool. So what was the main, like, so, okay, you had, um, like, X amount of clients in the park. Mm -hmm. How, how did that how did that even grow? Did anyone ever shut you down? <laughs> yeah, did, yeah, that's the other question. Park, park did any park shut you down? <laughs> After I moved out of the park and I had another space, I got an email or a letter letter saying like you cannot. So you already moved out? Yeah, I already I'm like, oh, oh I don't do that anymore. Don't worry, I'm gone. That's so, cool. It won't happen again. Yeah. Ever. No. I tried to go through yeah. all the right avenues, yeah. but I mean, you know, there's right. you know, yeah. government stuff. How many people you talk to? Yeah. <sighs> Everybody says something different. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, it was okay on that end. Awesome. Good. Well, Shane, I think he had he come up with a couple of questions right, we were going to pick your brain it. about. All right. First question. What is your favorite shoe to train in and why? It's really interesting. Well, wearing <laughs> them. Um, here they are. Reebok. I think it's a Z-Quick shoe. These are really old. And they always change shoes. Um, you know, like, you know, discontinue shoes. Mm -hmm. But I really like this one. And so first like few weeks I had it like man I really love the shoe went on Amazon bought whatever was left so I have a few more stuffed away in my closet oh, oh, she has spare <laughs> she's got backup I have a spare this is my favorite color even though they're kind of dingy um I just like that they it's a really flexible bottom but it's still minimal enough to like feel the traction on the ground and um I can run on them totally fine no more than a mile I mean, who wants to run more than that anyway that's like a good question so. though because we see a lot of people in here and like just as, as coaches that come in and like the stuff that we do is a lot of functional training sure. and you see people come in with like running shoes yep. or like uh, any kind of shoes like that so definitely like cross trainers for sure, sure are, uh, are the way to go if you're looking to get into any kind of uh, functional training to wear and you know, whether it be you know CrossFit or any kind of boot camp anything where you're not going to be uh, running you know, just yeah, in a yeah. straight line yeah. if you're going to be changing directions a lot for sure definitely look into uh, to different cross train shoes for sure. Yep. So what's your favorite type of workout? I mean, we got cross trainers on. Got my <laughs> cross trainers on. Okay, so my favorite kind of workout would be... Um, Tabata. Ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I thought I might know that one. I thought I might know that one. So my favorite would probably have five exercises, one minute on each, going okay. straight from one movement to the next. So Ooh, five minutes straight, one minute rest for three or four rounds. I like those. That's my favorite. Count your reps. Um, and then repeat it in a couple more months and see if you can improve. Ooh, so I like, I like that because it's super short and you feel completely gassed at the end. But I mean, you're working for five minutes straight and mm -hmm. we're getting one minute rest, so yeah. hey, like, yeah. you're gonna be gassed. Yeah. So throw some kettlebell swings in there, row, wall balls. I hate one of them. <laughs> wall balls? Yeah. yeah. I, just burpees, I like burpees, I do those. Yeah. And then you can throw in an extra movement, I don't know, something special. 
Rowing. Mm. Rowing for calories. Ooh, oh. rowing for calories. Those are good. They're so good. Yeah. So all right, then. Cool. Uh, all right, next question would be, what is your background in fitness? What type of gyms have you been in? Mm. Great question. So I kind of mentioned earlier that played soccer, so that's kind of what um, I did all my life. And um, back in high school, I came across this gym in Tampa that were doing functional training. And so back mm. then, you know, that was a while ago now, that was kind of new. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we would do... Um, functional. Functional. Yeah, yeah. functional. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is functional? Yeah, what is functional? Yeah. But uh, we did a lot of things like moving on the ground and um, lunges to step-ups to pull-ups and just combining a lot of different movements together. And so that's kind of where I started in, and I loved that aspect of it. And so that's kind of always what I've had in the back of my mind. So moving forward, like beyond running, because you do that so much in software, you just run and run and run, I love the other side of it, um, the strength training. So once, that was post-soccer, um, I found a CrossFit eventually, and I was there for a couple years and kind of got into that world. And do you remember your first CrossFit workout? Oh, do I remember? Most people block it out. Yeah. That's all my question is like, <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, laying you, on the ground. To me, it was like... First <laughs> I remember one of my first ones. Yeah. And I... I I cried. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And the coach I'm still a good friend of mine you. and he you knows like, oh my gosh, this girl's crying over there. Um, how do I yeah, it was push ups, I hate push ups, they're still my nemesis. Yeah. But I'm definitely better at them because of that one day. Push ups a four hundred meter run, that's what it was. And but that was kind of one of the first ones. That's simple but, but, but very like oh, yeah. anytime yeah. you break plank or you stop pushing up, you have to run four hundred meters. Oh until you get to hundred and fifty push ups. That was the thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Simple but sweet, but you that know, is, yeah. Like, some of those, in yeah, some of those seven miles. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. I was like, I do three Jeez, push ups. And just I run running three miles. I hate running. We just talked about it. Yeah. So, and I'm super particular too. I'm like, if I don't have a perfect rep, I'll no rep myself. Or mm -hmm. I will get up and run 400 meters. And so here I was. One, two, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Start and running. I'm right, yeah. <laughs> just going to run now. <laughs> I want to do things right. Nice. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow. Sad day. We do try to block that out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I remember uh, I thinking, think I did. What is it? Filthy fifty. I remember thinking, uh, like, hey, yeah. I'm strong. These, like, what was it? It was uh, jumping pull-ups, and I'm like, this is like RX. I'm like, I'm gonna fly through these. I did fifty box jumps, and then I got to the wall balls, and the wall, the ball was just like crushing me every time I catch it. And I was like, never mind. I'm not strong. <laughs> this is all good. It's all My good. first CrossFit was me and a. Uh, Another strongman competitor who actually competed at the Arnold a couple of times. So he and I got invited to work out and do friend. And of course, I was, you know, I'm a veteran. I'm like, yes, I'll absolutely do it. You know, two <laughs> guys who competed in strongman had no idea what it was. Uh, Lightweight for strongman. Yeah, 95 yeah, pounds is like Murph. Ooh. And then I was like, wait a second. After friend? I thought we were supposed to do just this one thing. <laughs> and it's like, no, because Veterans Day coming up. So if you want to go ahead and do Murph, let's go ahead and knock it out. I was like, okay, let's knock it out. And I'm looking at the board, it's like, wait a second. Yeah. Like, I just came here for one thing. And <laughs> like so a me and, five minute thing. Oh, me, a, yeah, yeah. me and my buddy were definitely in the back. We finished, but it was good. definitely humbling. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Cool. Well, just w as far as your business goes, mm -hmm. what do you say the best advice you could give for other people trying to get into the fitness industry and looking to not necessarily open up their own gym, but be mm -hmm. successful in a market where we're kind of very saturated these days with uh, trainers, with online health coaches, with live coaches, everybody's an expert on social media. Uh, yeah. They want you to email them. <laughs> yeah, expert, this is true. Right? Yeah, this is true. Everybody wants you to email true. them for, hey, email me for my plan because I work out and I fit, so I must know what I'm doing. <laughs> so how did you find, you know, obviously you've grown in four years mm -hmm. to have several hundred members at your facility. What do you think was attributed to that? Um, so I kind of feel what sets us apart is that it's important to me and it always has been to know every single person's name that's come through my door. So, um, and that's super, so hard. it's really hard to do. So, you know, first person comes for the first visit, I meet them, the next time they come in, they're greeted by me. That's super important. And I mean, I think that's what makes, um, you know, gyms, what's changed the gym world these days right. is community in the gym. And so facilitating that, but like people being known and trying to... Um, address everybody by name because I try to know everyone's name. I, I really think that goes a long way, and I'm not saying other people don't do that, but really caring for people and seeing where they are in life, and I, it goes a long way. You're right. Yeah. When, a, when an owner and a coach comes up to you and you've only been once or twice, they know your name. Yeah. Yeah. 
I said, oh, wow, I'm a part of this. They know who I am. And I might not be able to hide because they're going to call me. <laughs> yeah. They know my name. So on those push-ups, and I'm Joshua, like, come on, man. I'm going to have to do my run because they're yelling at me. I can cue you from across the room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I think that's, that's you. Exciting. Absolutely, absolutely. So another thing with your business, I know your husband is heavily involved, oh, totally. obviously. Uh, so how is that as far as being like married, a wife, a mom, mm-hmm. and a business owner, and a coach? Like, how do you balance all those things? That's a great question. How much time do you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got about an hour left. No, right. <laughs> no, that's a great question. That's been super challenging in finding that work-life balance, especially since in the beginning, because um, in the beginning we started, like, I was coaching – Everything. Yeah. 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 I was pregnant at the same time. I think I was still wearing a boot because I tore my Achilles. You know, it was a lot of fun. Great. It was a great time. And um, Johnny's awesome because he does, he's great at the business side of things, and that's his strong point. And that's kind of where I'm like, "Eh, you take it. I don't care about anything. I just want the people and the workouts. That's what I really enjoy and where I feel like I'm stronger. So we kind of meet in the middle there. And that's been really good. Um, And then as far as finding the balance, it's been finding the right people to kind of come around and like share our vision and be able to um, train how we'd like people to train and love our members the way we would like them to be treated and know their names. And I think you, JT, you kind of our first, yeah, um, our well, first like major guy that came in to take on so many classes. Yeah, because we had Mandy. I think she was yeah Mandy, but you know yeah. she has an unknown. Yeah, she's got a real job. I don't have a real job. I just work out. I work out and yell at people all day. Yeah, I'm a full-time coach. That's all I do. So, in um, bringing it in that, like, with a little bit of relief was just, like, yeah. huge. Having people around you to surround you and um, help you. Um, so, slowly but surely, we kind of found that community and that staff. There you guys are. Boom. Done. And we have a couple other people yeah. that aren't here, but honestly, it's been awesome. But that just took time. And mm. so, we really just kind of and bared through it till awesome. we found we're gonna have people. to we're gonna have to get Johnny on on yeah, this too because Johnny travels so much and I want to ask Johnny about his travel workouts yeah right because we all know like traveling can be like mess anybody and everybody's right. schedule totally. up hard to find but, a gym or yeah. to drop into a gym exactly so he's on the road all the time so we're going to pick his brain for sure about like he's got some good ones road workouts I heard you say yeah. uh he does like plate drives with like a tub of equipment and yeah stuff like carpet that. in a hallway and he'll just load up that and just oh, push man. it but could you Dude. imagine seeing that like going I, down yeah, for your I, co- I, continental oh, breakfast yeah. it just yeah, it some just, guy just run about <laughs> morning morning, morning. morning. Just just the yeah. Yeah, yeah especially awesome. in the music industry I mean yeah. I some people work out but most of the time yeah. you know they're just drinking coffee to be honest yeah. Yeah. so they're just sitting there watching him what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Why? Why are you doing that? Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that yeah and then they it. probably feel self-conscious. Like, I bet I should do something too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he said he took some, some equipment. On the road. Yeah, he said he took some equipment on the road he and, did. and stuff like that. So that's yeah. cool. Awesome. So I have to pick his brain next. We'll probably get him on in a couple episodes or something like that. Sounds good. Well, cool. Uh, where can people find you? Fit Factory Nashville. I don't even know my uh, no, no, no. Things. no, we can, we can <laughs> add it. What it is. We'll it's add it in the show notes later. It's all good. Yeah. Nashville, anything yeah. you find it on Facebook, Instagram. Instagram, yeah. We, and Johnny's my social media guy, so he posts awesome videos. He can really like see what we do and little, you know, forty second videos. So awesome. if somebody sees the video and like, hey, I want to try to place out. Yeah. Those people look like they're the coolest people ever. Let's, let's, let's be real. So how would they right. join? Right? How would they? So can they just come in? Would they totally. email? Would they call? Like what they, would they can do? email, call, or just walk in the front door. First class is free, and you can just come see what we're about. Awesome. Pretty simple. Awesome. And most cool. likely you'll see one of us. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, Even yeah. better. Yes. In real life. All right, guys. Well, we'll talk to you later next week. We'll get some more cool, cool people on, and uh, we'll definitely have to get Johnny on here too yeah. for one of these episodes. But yeah, guys. Till next week. We'll see you later. Cool.